Well, let's begin this hour, shall we, with a look at the importance of getting screened for lung cancer. The disease claims the lives of about 370 Americans every day and is the leading cause of cancer-related deaths in the U.S. But a new survey shows 62% of people are not familiar with these life-saving screenings. So joining us now on this World Lung Cancer Day is Dr. Celine Gounder. She's a CBS News medical contributor and also editor-at-large for public health at KFF. Good morning, doctor. Thanks for joining us. Talk us through about getting screened for lung cancer and at what age should we begin this process? So the recommendations are that if you're 50 or over and you have what's called a 20-year pack history of smoking, mm. so when we talk about pack years, uh, it's you multiply the average number of packs per day times the number of years you smoked. So say one pack per day times 20 years or two packs per day times 10 years, that gets you to 20 pack years. Mm. So people who are 50 and over, 20 pack years of smoking mm -hmm. should be getting CT scans of the lungs to assess for lung cancer. And what? what does that exactly look like, the CT scan? Walk us through it. Yeah, so it's one of these, um, like a donut-shaped uh, machine that you're on a stretcher that you roll through it and a couple times back and forth. So it's scanning your lungs during that. Um, it's a pretty quick procedure, under 10 minutes. Uh, but it's something that is really underutilized mm. in people who are at high risk for, for lung cancer mm. who should really be screened. Those of us of a certain age, me. Remember x-rays for this. Mm. This is a different kind of diagnostic tool. Is it better? Think of it as a 3D x-ray. So it looks much better. Um, it, it, it's able to, with better resolution, assess findings that might be concerning for lung cancer. So what are the risk factors when it comes to lung cancer? Well, it's not just smoking. And I think that's important to say. I think a lot of people will stigmatize or blame people who have lung cancer. Oh, you must have been a smoker. Uh, not to say that we shouldn't also have empathy for folks who for smoked, sure. right? For sure. But other, um, so other risk factors include asbestos exposure on the job, mm. radon. Mm. One that's really underappreciated is smoke. It could be any kind of smoke, but in particular, cooking smoke wildfire smoke, which is an increasing risk factor, and other kinds of air pollution. New surveys showed that 62% of people are actually not even familiar with this screening. What needs to change there? Well, we need to talk about it more, just as we are now. I think people just need to be made aware that this is an option. Uh, I can remember when the recommendations first came out about 10 years ago, trying to get this for my patients, trying to get insurance to cover it at that time was really difficult. This should be covered by your insurance because it is a uh, recommendation for preventive health care. So talk to your doctor if you think you fall into the, the high-risk category. Got to talk about it to create more awareness. Mm -hmm. That's for sure. Dr. Selene Gounder, thank you so much.